Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. So, this is what I've been kind of holding out for. Uh, I was going to be working and doing a whole bunch of stuff on my 99 Honda Civic Si uh, with taxes, but I was on KSL and this came along. And so it's a 1987 Toyota Supra. It is the 7M GE, so it's not the nice turbo motor, but <clears throat> my plans for this is I'm going to uh, basically get what's in it running for now. It's got the automatic transmission, it's dirty as hell. Um, but it is a clean title car. Um, seats are really in bad shape, but I think I'm just going to throw in some aftermarket eBay ones, maybe some NRG ones. Uh, the uh, story behind the whole uh, basically body being torn apart is the guy had a turbo uh, automatic model that he wanted to fix. Uh, so he took the body panels off. This is the door off the turbo model. It's got a big dent in it, but I think that, I mean, the door still shuts nice and solid. So, the hood is off the wrecked model. He basically, what happened was, is he was driving on a, uh, snowy road and lost control of the car and basically hit a pole and he hit all this in so he needed basically the whole front fender hood everything this is the hood off the turbo so it's it's banged up uh but my plans are just get this thing running uh it's missing some things it's missing the airflow meter and they also cut the mass airflow or airflow meter plug off um, and uh, it's been sitting for so long that the gas tank apparently they said it was all gummed up and the fuel pump does not work so the fuel tank I'll have to go back up in, but I'm going to uh, try a trick that I've been seeing on YouTube with muriatic acid. Uh, basically, they mix it with water and let it soak in the tank, and it cleans out all that black gummy crap and even the rust. So, I'm going to try that. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is the new project because, you know, at the end of the day, when when you have a, a a civic and you fix it up at the end of the day you just have a civic so at the end of the day i'm gonna have a civic. so i just really like this body style the pop-up headlights i'll probably just do a sleepy eye conversion with some led bars in there but i got a a set ordered pop-up headlights that I found for a pretty good price on eBay for 150 bucks so <clears throat> that's that's I mean the lens and motors and everything included with it so uh, he doesn't know if they work but I really don't care if they don't work then fine I'm just gonna do sleepy eyes and just mod in some LED light bars in there for my high and low beam uh, yeah uh, the guy also said that the, spark, the engine does not have spark, so I need to figure out that. Uh, I did, however, th I threw a battery in it and it did crank. So, I know the starter's good and I just need to work on the fuel delivery and spark issue. So, anyway, yeah, well, thanks for uh, tuning in to EL Garage. Uh, I will uh, keep you guys updated on this uh, project. 
I'm pretty excited for it. I used to own a 1989 Super Turbo, <clears throat> and it, it was just the top, hard top, white trim, white wheels. Uh, it was the manual. Uh, <clears throat> so that had, oh, how many miles? Like 90,000 miles on it. So it was like really mint condition, and I really regret selling it. But <clears throat> I got this one now, so I'm going to try and make something of it. If, you know, something else comes up online, I've got the money, you know, I might just go and buy something that already has a manual transmission. But <clears throat> I'm just going to get this thing running in the condition it is, it is in right now and then go from there. Uh, if it turns out to be a good, decent car, I'm going to plan on doing a 1JZ uh, GTE swap with a manual transmission conversion. I did already order some manual pedals for it so uh, i'm pretty excited anyway uh thanks for tuning in and <clears throat> i will uh see you guys later peace <laughs>